Those are a few examples of exciting music controlled countdowns that could be used before a YouTube or Twitch live stream, at a youth group, or I use them at a summer camp I worked for. I'm sure you could find plenty more uses for a similar project. The first thing we're going to need is a text layer that counts down. Unfortunately, After Effects doesn't have a built-in feature that does this. We can create a countdown with a solid, but not a text layer, unfortunately. So we're going to have to use an expression. Fear not, if you don't know how to write your own, there are plenty to be found online. I'll probably put one in the description, however, if it doesn't suit your needs, for example, if you want milliseconds or some other feature, many more can be found on the internet. Simply alt-click the keyframe button for the text source and paste in your expression in the box. We now have a text layer that counts down from 5 minutes to 0. Now that we have our text layer functioning properly, we can worry about making it look cool. For this, we'll be using the free Saber plugin from Video Copilot. Create a solid and drop on the Saber effect. Under Core Type, select Text Layer and proceed to specify the countdown text layer we just created. At this point, I hid the original text layer. However, you certainly don't have to if you're going for a different look. Now, simply select the preset that you think looks best and fine tune it using the other settings. Video Copilot has a great tutorial explaining what all the settings do, so I won't get into that too much here. You should now have a dope looking countdown timer, so all that's left is to connect the animation with the music. The music I'll be using is from Raucous, by virtue of it being the first thing that popped up when I searched for royalty free beats, so shout out to Raucous. Select the audio layer, click animation, and select keyframe assistant. Finally, select Convert Audio to Keyframes. We now have a new layer with keyframes for the audio's amplitude. If we wanted to, we could edit the original file to target a certain range, say the booming bass. However, I'm keeping it simple and just using the overall amplitude. We now have all the elements we need and it's simply a matter of connecting them. Select the Saber value or values you want to be controlled by the audio keyframes and Alt-click the keyframe button. Then use the Pick Whip tool to select the keyframes we just created. Now, when Saber is wondering how intense to make the glow, for example, it will look to how loud the music is. All that's left is to fine tune the expression to get the effect that we really want. For example, as it stands, if the music stops and the amplitude drops to zero, the effect value drops down to zero. However, you might want it to keep glowing at some sort of minimum value, and thus should add plus 20, or whatever you want the minimum value to be, to the expression. You might feel the difference between the lowest and highest values too extreme and hard on the eyes, or not extreme enough. Simply multiply that part of the expression by a number less than 1 to compress the range, or greater than 1 to expand the range of the animation. There's no correct answer for any of this, Simply think back to high school algebra class and fool with it until you get the results that you want. And here's our final result. This has been Schneebly. Until next time.